I long for wrestling events to come to town. Arriving at the arena, I barge through crowded and noisy fans at the merchandise stand in order to blow a lot of money on a lot of overpriced t-shirts. With bags in hand, I speed off to my special place. Taking my seat behind the rusted metal railing, I look at the ring eagerly while the entertainment is about to take place. As the first theme song blasts through the speakers, my heart pounds. My mouth forms a permanent smile. The festivities begin, and I am truly here at my wonderful place in the front row. My place changes an ordinary show into a multi-sensory experience. It grants me access to touch, smell, taste, yes, I said taste, and witness larger-than-life characters live, up close, and in person. And the front row is also where the war of my throat begins each and every show. Shout after yell, after holler, after scream, leave my mouth as I watch the performers do what they do best. It's where I get to reach out after a long match and feel the smoothness of their skin, the moist sheen of sweat, and hear the loud obscenities they bellow at us, the lucky front rowers. The front row is where an enigma gave me an article of his clothing, where a cerebral assassin unleashed a middle spit upon my face, where I looked a viper in the eye and lived to tell about it. It's where I had the honor of watching a crippler perform for the very last time before his tragic passing. And what could possibly be greater about the front row? That it's also a place I can share. I get to look to my left or to my right and see the smiling faces of my constant wrestling companions, my nieces. After the talent disappears, the ring is broken down, the lights are turned off, and all the fans, including myself, file out of the building. I say a goodbye to my special place. So long, front row. We'll meet again at the next show.